next we'll see how to set set uh, how to set grid box parameters grid box parameter is a 3d space which will cover the docking area so in order to set the grid box parameter first go to grid select macromolecule then click open now we have to select our protein file that should be in pdb qt format once we select protein pdb qt file a window will open up asking whether we want to preserve charges or not then we have to select no now click on ok now in order to open a ligand in pdb qt file following steps should be followed go to grid select set map types and click on open ligand now select the ligand pdb qt file now we have both ligand and protein in the pdb qt format in our window next is we have to uh, select active site residues of protein so in order to do that go to select click on select from string and then type residue name and number in the residue column uh, for example here it is shown that uh, serine and 84 along with star now we have to click on add so that it will select the serine molecule and then click on dismiss now next is grid box in order to select grid box go to grid select grid box and then we need to select the grid box in such a way that it should cover all the active site residues so here we can see uh, we can manually set from 40 to 60 or 40 to 100 anything that should cover all the active sites of protein after that go to file and choose close saving current that will give the gpf format so in order to save gpf format go to grid then click on output and save as GP gpf to set up docking parameter file please follow the following steps go to docking select macromolecule and choose set rigid frame file name as we are using rigid type docking so we are selecting set rigid file name next open the protein file in the form of pdb qt now in order to open ligand pdb qt file go to docking select ligand and then click on open while selecting ligand a window will open up asking to set ligand parameters we are except we are continuing with default parameters so click on accept now in order to search confirmation following step is required Go to docking, click on search parameters and choose any search method. We are choosing genetic algorithm. Now while selecting genetic algorithm, a window will open up asking to set parameters for genetic algorithm. Here also we are continuing with default parameters. So click on OK. Now go to docking and then click on output and then select Lamarckian. Now to save the output file in the form of DPF format, click on save and save the file. Now to run grid parameter file and docking parameter file, please follow the required steps. Open the Sigwin terminal and change the directory to the directory where protein and ligand files are saved. Now to generate grid maps please follow the commands in this command we are giving grid parameter file which on execution will give grid log file once the process is complete message will display on screen saying successful completion and then we can see the grid log file in the working directory now in order to perform docking please use following commands in this command we have used docking parameter file which after execution will provide docking log file once 
the process is complete we will get the message saying successful completion on user pc we can see the docking log file in the working directory now to prepare dog output file using command line please follow the required steps go to sigwin command line and please use following commands in this command we have used docking log file during the run when a log file is generated uh, which a uh, log file will display different pose information with energy parameters but the protein structure parameters will be available in the pdbqt file which is generated during the run from the pdbqt file please select the atom coordinates of the best pose as shown here and paste it in the original downloaded protein pdb file now to visualize the result we can use any 3d visualization tool as we have used here chimera